हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्माइल एंजल्स टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज स्टेटस अस्थमेटिकस इन दिस फर्स्ट वीट विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेफिनेशन देन इट्स क्लिनिकल फीचर्स एंड द थर्ड वन इज मैनेजमेंट एंड ट्रीटमेंट सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू इट्स डेफिनेशन सो स्टेटस अस्थमेटिकस रेफर्स टू अ कॉन्टीन्यूस स्टेट ऑफ ब्रेथलेसनेस विदाउट एनी पीरियड ऑफ रिलीफ it is also said that uh, if a prolonged attack continuous asthma with fluctuations it is also called status asthmaticus it has repeated dry cough which aggravates dyspnea and respiratory distress the patient shows symptoms like sweating tachycardia pathetic pulses paradoxus and cyanosis the respiration is rapid shallow with reduction in peak flow rates now move on to clinical features and severity if there is an increased pulse rate 120 per minute respiratory rate is 30 per minute pulses paradoxus if the patients uh, having inability to speak due to breathlessness if there is fall in pef which is peak expiratory flow if it is less than 50% of expected value then it is status asthmaticus the life threatening situations which a patient develops in this are co2 retention hypoxemia acidosis cnf effects like cyanosis drowsiness semi consciousness and confusion if the pf pef is less than 100 liter per minute and having bradycardia which is also known as slow heart rate silent chest partial oxygen decrease then these all are the symptoms of status asthmaticus so if we talk about the management or uh, about the status asthmaticus so what's our aim in this to treat the status asthmaticus so first we have to restore the pulmonary function as soon as possible then we have to prevent death to prevent relapse and to maintain optimal pulmonary function so if we are having the treatment at home then you have to give oxygen through mask which is almost 40 to 60 percent then we have to give bronchodilators bronchodilator is to be given iv uh, the bronchodilator which is given like aminophylin which is 250 to 375 mg in 20 ml of saline after checking bp if aminophylin is not given then we can also give iv salbutamol which is 250 mg in 20 ml saline over 10 minutes or iv terbutaline 250 mg in 20 ml of saline over 10 minutes then if uh, the treatment is given in hospital so first we have to make the patient comfortable in bed and then uh, to know the progress and response to treatment we have to give full assessment of pef FEV1 and arterial blood blood gas analysis urgent x-ray chest has to be done to exclude pneumothorax if there is an infection then it can be treated by giving antibiotic therapy till sputum culture and sensitivity report is received management includes various steps management include various steps and various procedures so for, we'll discuss it in this so the first one is high concentration of oxygen at high flow rate should be given uh, even in the uh, carbon dioxide retention and concentration adjusted according to the blood gas measurement the second one is high dose of inhaled bronchodilators in this salbutamol 2.5 to 5 mg of or terbutaline 5 to 10 mg by nebulizer initially and repeated after 30 outside the hospital air compressor used to drive the nebulizer if there is no improvement by doing this then 250 mg of salbutamol or terbutaline by iv infusion over 10 minutes can be given 
the third one includes ipratropium bromide which is 2.5 mg given with add uh, by adding to nebulized beta agonist the fourth one is systemic system bronchodilators which include aminophilin which we have discussed before then uh, move to systemic steroids hydrocortisone 200 mg iv stat and then then uh, uh, 4 to 6 hourly or oral prednisolone 40 to 60 mg per day can be given. Magnesium sulfide 25 mg per kg IV or by nebulizer maximum 2 gram may be added to beta agonist. So we can give it by IV or by nebulizer. Then we will reassess the patient PEF and blood gas analysis. Nebulize beta adrenoreceptor agonist every 4 to 6 hours and then by meter dose inhaler IV hydrocortisone 200 mg 6 hourly continued for 24 to 48 hours in severe cases followed by oral steroid. If the response is not good, if, if PEF is less than 40% and then patient for assisted ventilation ventilation the conditions for assist, uh, assisted ventilations are coma respiratory arrest during treatment hypoxemia 8 kpa and fa falling hypercapnia 6 kpa and rising ph if there is the ph is 7.3 and falling then we will uh, we will do the ventilation process on improvement patient may be discharged on inhaled beta agonist oral and uh, inhalation corticosteroids and advice follow up